Hey everybody, welcome to another video here at J&J Toy Giants. I'm your host, JD. Wanted to say, again, thank you for everyone, like I do on every video pretty much, and say thank you for everyone who's been supporting the channel. We do appreciate it. We're almost at 1,000 subscribers. We can get there. Help us get there by just sharing the videos, liking, tell, every, tell your friends, tell your mama, tell your papa, and uh, to let them know that J&J Toy Giants is where you want to go for awesome content. But also, speaking of content, we do have a new revamped Patreon page. Go in the link of the description here in this video, and you will see the Patreon link. That actually gives you three different tiers that you can subscribe to monthly. That gives you all kinds of exclusive content that you cannot get on the YouTube channel. So it also has other kind of things like, you know, entrance to giveaway. Once we start getting merchandise, you can get a percentage off your merchandise. That's one of the things that I've actually been thinking about for a while. But again, visit our Patreon page, and let's get to the video. All right, so this edition of Turn the Page is going to be going over a few different comics here. So I got this uh, from the uh, the actual Comic Con that we went to, the uh, Stillwater uh, Comic Con that we went to. So I got this off of a, a vendor. Uh, I wish I knew his name because I wanted to get like a card and, and just, you know, mention him on the channel but he didn't have a card like a business card he doesn't he only does cons he doesn't sell online or anything like that which is kind of weird but okay um then we're gonna go over some x-men adventures and um issue number seven they didn't have this i guess this is issue number zero for the uh collector's issue of the undertaker because he has other ones um yeah so he has other one uh, as far as the comic goes so thor number 466 the mighty thor we're also going to be going over the Uncanny X-Men. I don't know if I did this one or not, but we'll go over it again. I believe I did this one. I'm not sure. All right. So the very first one that we're going to go with right now, I'm just going to make sure that I have them in here, is The Undertaker, Wizard number zero. And so there were no advertisements inside the comic of this the WWF series. So I don't want to make sure that I get, get you guys the picture here because it is kind of does kind of have a glare but from what i read on this so basically undertaker goes to look at this artwork it's so cool so he goes to an, a wwe event and he ends up um, fighting some demons here Looks like he goes against. Uh, looks like they have some. Who are these guys? They're not. They're not Jim Ross and then the Jerry the King of Lawler. But he goes to a wrestling event, and that looks like Shawn Michaels, if I'm not mistaken. But then he starts fighting these dudes. And he's like, "Bring it on! Bring it on, son!" They're not phasing him one one bit. So this is all going on inside of a WWE ring when he's fighting these demons. And look, he's got some, uh, they got some licks in because the Undertaker starts to bleed a little bit. That's a pretty cool comic. Now there are other ones too. Stone Cold has some. Uh, Mick Foley has some. I don't know if they have a DX one, but I, I, know, I know The Rock has one too. They did for all of the... I think The Rock, Stone Cold, Mankind, Undertaker, and who else? Who else? The Rock, Mankind, Stone Cold, Undertaker, and that is it. I don't know if there was a Triple H one. Look at the awesome artwork in here. Where's, where's JR and the, and the King, man? Come on, that's not fair. They should be in this comic. Right, so it looks like he then defeats the demons. So cool artwork here. This is a sketchbook. Okay, so this is basically the sketchbook of how they were making this comic. It's cool. And the only advertisement is for Wizards. So Entertainment Wizards uh, Group. It, it used to be an actual store you could go to, but now 
They also had the Wizard uh, Wizard World online. I'm actually going to go to that website to see if that even still exists. Uh, but cause this was actually made in 1999. So you got Undertaker in the back here. It has like a little photo cover of him. That's pretty cool. All right, let's go to the next one. All right, so next we're going to be going over the Mighty Thor issue number 466. So remember I told you in the other episode, all of these comics used to have advertisements uh, throughout the pages. So the first one is based um, from Castle Rock Entertainment, which also was owned by New Line Cinema. Um, and they did Castle Rock Entertainment so that they could actually have like family uh, style movies instead of like horror movies that New Line Cinema was n known for at the time. And so this was, a, I've never actually watched this movie called Josh and Sam. It says, why run away from home when you can drive? All right, so this is, it's gotta be the almighty father. Odin, Odin's table. Pretty good artwork you can see. And I do apologize, you guys. I'm trying to make sure you guys can see this. All right. So, of course, you can see that there, there's a lot of partying going on in Valhalla. Or Asgard, I should say, because they're not in Valhalla yet. They, they're usually where they go when they die. So this is uh, another one of the... If you like the Pick a Card series, you might see that I've had some of these before the score. I don't know if I had score. No, I did have one of the packs of score. And that's just uh, the type of uh, company that does different kind of football, uh, trading cards, basketball. Here's praying you get sent to your room for a week. This is a fun pack. Upper deck trading cards. You can see that's awesome shot of Thor right there. It's pretty cool. Looks like they're having a really hell of a big conversation at the dinner table. Oh, hey! One of the Simpsons Genesis games. Your worst nightmare just hit town on Genesis. Well, your worst nightmare just hit town on Genesis. The Simpsons. Bart's Nightmare. Okay, there we go. I couldn't read it for a second. I'm going to have to check that out. I'm going to have to maybe go on Twitch and do a little uh, old school retro gaming. So remember I told you there have been bulletins and this basically is to just uh, let you know what's going on in the comic book world. Stan Lee would always, you know, basically tell you what was going on in the comic book world. You can see Stan Lee's uh, signature right here. Oh, hey, still have one of the Genesis uh, like inserts. So if you fill this out, you can get you can get the game. It looks like Thor is getting having a throwdown with somebody here. Oh, he definitely he definitely messing this dude up. So this is a hot comics. They basically tell you what the hottest issues are. Uh, you can basically send in um, via the mail to get more issues instead of just buying them online like you can do it now. That's a really cool issue. So another advertisement for some Robotech games. Last page. Oh, this was actually something I wanted to talk about real quick. So Pizza Hut actually had some comics that you can get back in the day. So if you had a specific, uh, uh, the, the two ninety nine dollars kids pack, you can get some comics with some drinks and stuff. 
And so the last advertisement is for a Game Boy game, Raging Fighter. It's not bad. And of course, this was right before Mortal Kombat came out on the Super NES Genesis Game Gear and Game Boy. Mortal Monday, September 13th. So this bat probably came out prior to that. That was what, when? Came out September, so it must have been right before Mortal, Mortal Monday. That's cool. All right, so let's go to the next one. All right, so we're going to go over X-Men Adventures number seven. Cable comes back into the fold here. Season two. It's Cable time again. And this, I did see. I didn't see it in theaters, but I saw it on Cable. Little Big League. Awesome movie. Definitely should check it out. And so it looks like Cable is going over some time fugitives. Or is he being chased by uh, Nimrod? Whoops, sorry about that, guys. Doesn't look like Nimrod. He got rid of them real quick. Almost looks like uh, Terminator. The beginning, the beginning of Terminator. Apocalypse, dude, and Chef RD exclusive offer, glow in the dark posters, X-Men power glows in the dark, that's cool, love me some Chef RD bro, even though it's not really good for me, at my age, it's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, that's basically uh, available at Kmart, so you can get the X-Men, um, the X-Men VHSs. So if you didn't, if you didn't record them on your own on a VHS, for those who don't know what a VHS is, is basically they, they used to have videotapes so you can watch movies and cartoons. So you can collect all 12 of the VHS tapes. All right, so going back to the comic here, so it looks like Bishop and Forge send Bishop back into time. So I'm guessing he went back in time to help out Cable. There's Bishop. There's Jubilee and Storm. Look at the artwork, so great, so good. So red and stimpy. Everything you want. Summer camp without mosquitoes. Okay. It was on that. Crunch a munch. This was a, a very very great snack to have back in the day, and they had specific cards you can get. I'm gonna have to look that up to see if I can find that on eBay. That's cool. All right. So let's go to the next one. All right, so the very last comic that we're going to go over again is the Uncanny X-Men number 286. So Archangel. So he was no longer Angel anymore. He's now Archangel. He battles the X-Men. There's Colossus and Jean Grey. What is the first advertisement? That is the Tiny Toon Adventures Nintendo game. So if you guys ever remember back in the day on Fox in the afternoon, Tidy Toons was kind of like the new Warner Brothers cartoons like Bugs Bunny and Daffy Duck, but it's a new generation. And I don't care what you say, the 90s artwork back in the day are so good. I mean, they hold up. They still hold up today. Get all the action. Score 1992 baseball cards. Might have to look for those. So it looks like... Let's see, Archangel. He does fight them. I know for sure he does. Oh, there we go. 
Oh, snap. There's Storm. Oh, there's another advertisement for a Star Wars, or no, not Star Wars, Star Trek, Nintendo game, and a Game Boy game. Nice, from Ultra. And as you can see on the back here, it does have a uh, Game Boy and Nintendo advertisement, regular Nintendo, for Terminator 2 Judgment Day on NES and Game Boy. I actually did not play this. Uh, of course, LJN, the worst manufacturer of video games ever. This is pretty cool. So that was one of the things that I really, really liked about the comics is that they always had some cool inserts, advertisements for stuff that you can get. But yeah, so that does it for this edition of Turn the Page with J&J Toy Giants. We'll be with you in a moment. All right, so that does it for this edition of the YouTube channel video. I am your host, JD. All right, so that does it for this video here, J&J Toy Giants. Again, I am your host, JD. Be sure to like and subscribe and also comment on any of our video submissions on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And follow us on TikTok. And also follow us on Twitch. And again, check out our Patreon page that has been revamped. I know I use that word a lot, but it's cool. But check out our Patreon page to get access to exclusive content that will help out the channel. Thank you so very much. Help us get to 1,000 subscribers. Keep on cruising.